Hello everyone, I'm Peter Galliardo at Helen Hayes Hospital and the Adaptive Supports Coordinator. Uh, I have here the PlayStation Access Controller which came out last week. A uh, generous grant from the Craig Nielsen Foundation allowed us to get our hands on this and get people back into gaming. So we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to show some of the stuff that's in here, and then uh, a little bit uh, on, the, on the PlayStation we're going to show you what you can do with it. We received our Access Controller and while the shipping package was not accessible to somebody with limited hand function, Sony did go through great lengths to make sure that once you received your fun gift in the mail, you can open it. So they have these uh, two tabs, literally you can get any piece of anything on it. I use my pinky just to demonstrate here. It doesn't need very much. Hook anything, give it a super light rip, and you're in. You can see the box is already wanting to open. It's it's spring loaded. Uh, then you can just take any piece of of hand or, or arm and get this box down. There's a nice pull tab here to get the box fully open and enjoy your goodies. Uh, we have this is a description of everything that's in the box. We have our adaptive controller right here. It can just be slid out onto the table. I will uncover it. They didn't even do a slide in bag. They did a, a fold over so you didn't have to worry about much. You can really just dump it out if you need to. And there you have it. There is the access controller up close and personal. The other thing in the box here is all of our accessories and we're going to go through each of these and kind of show you how they work on the new access controller all right for starters we're going to give a quick overview of what we have here we have eight buttons that are programmable they're programmable to toggle or work on a hold press there's also an additional button here in the center a joystick with different uh, joysticks that you can add on, different shapes and sizes. The joystick arm comes in and out so you can be at an appropriate place for your comfortable, le comfortable level of play. We have our mounting tabs on the bottom in case you want to put it on a gooseneck, maybe you want it out in front of you. Uh, you want a permanent gaming setup so it's always in the same position. This allows you to do that. The other thing we have here are four inputs. These are your E1 through 4s. This allows things like a buddy button uh, to be plugged in and programmed. So it seems like you can get 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different button presses and you still have your PlayStation button here and your your click. So I mean there's there's a lot of function built into just one of these. And now you can have two of these at the same time. So you can have all sorts of things programmed. You're going to see as we open this up some of the things that you can do with these button options and you can see how if you had two of these you can create all sorts of different combinations of things to do. Alright so we'll get into what's in this box. These are your standard button cover presses. They're held on by magnets with these very light little locks just so they don't kind of fly off. Although they're on there better than you think. So we're going to start by removing the standard button covers just to show you a what it looks like without them and b some of these additional ones that come in the box so as you can see here these are all just the magnetic buttons one big button in the center now we're going to open up this little box of accessories in the accessory box we have all of our button names they go right into these little holes they even give you some blank ones if you have some kind of cool custom button to press combination that you want to remember put those to the side for now and we're going to take a look at, at all these different things so you know what we're going to start with the joystick since that's right here in everybody's face these what it comes with is i would call an oversized dual sense joystick uh, my little bit of time with it uh, the other day i felt like this was very nice to to move things around it was one of my favorites but depending on your ability level just pull this guy off you have a classic arcade joystick ball as well as 
a traditional dual sense joystick super mini super small maybe just want to get your finger going on there uh, like I said personally I like the the big joystick cover so we're gonna move on to the different button covers that are that are in here and maybe different functions for them one that stands out quickly is this two button cover this one does not have the additional locks just the magnets that hold it on this allows you to press two buttons simultaneously then we have what I would call trigger covers they definitely remind me of the L2 R2 trigger on the DualSense controller and when they snap on they allow you to to have a certain feel to them like a trigger so that might be a good way to remember that you are using like a an R2 or an L2 in whatever game you are playing then we have these don't know what I'd call this a spoon style cap and what this does is this brings the button into the center I would say it's definitely more tactical feel you'll you can catch it on your finger and know that that's the that's the button that you're pressing uh, I feel like all of them kind of have their own different shapes and sizes um, and then the last different style button is this completely flat almost um, button. it's got a little lip to it but nothing like I would call this R2 button compared to the dome standard button that comes on them so it's five different shapes, five different feelings on your finger um, to help maybe differentiate, differentiate buttons so you don't have to look down as much. Uh, the only other thing in here is a charging cable and you know a handful of other uh, buttons. I think it's, uh, you get four of these L2, R2 trigger style. You get four flats, one uh, double, and you get the, the eight round to start. Um, all of our little button tabs as you program them you'd say you know I want this button right here is an R1 L1 let's just say that's your super power up in a game you can program this to be L1 R1 maybe you're playing the game like Call of Duty and you need to use your special that's L1 R1 you slam that if this is programmed proper boom you're using two buttons at once I, uh, I highly recommend anybody that has impairments to grab a PlayStation Access controller. It could change your life and change the way you game. All right, so I just wanted to give a very quick rundown of what you can do with this controller once it's actually hooked up to the PlayStation. Right now we have our DualSense hooked up and we have one Access controller hooked up. You can have up to two. Uh, there's a profile button here on the side. Just by holding that down, a long press brings you to your button assignment. Uh, we're playing Little Big Planet here. This is just a quick button profile that I came up with. Nothing set in stone, just trying some things out. I just want to show you though, when you go to your library, you can have your profile. So for each game, you can have a completely different setup and you can have up to three of those saved onto your controller at once. And that's here with this little LED light, pressing the button to short press tells you which profile that you're on. So right now we're in profile one. A long press brings you up to your profile library. Uh, and I just kind of wanted to show you what you can do in here real quick. Um, controller orientation, that tells the system which way you have this joystick so that it knows button one through eight, which orientation they are. Your button assignments, this is the most important part. Uh, this screen here shows you which button that you're working on. Um, by pressing the big button on it, you get into the next screen and you can choose any button for this uh, for that particular button press. Um, so we'll go back here. You can do a simultaneous press. So if you choose a button on the top, you can then choose a button on the, on the bottom. That lets you press two buttons at once. And then you also have a button toggle. So by turning the toggle button on, something like aiming, you can press your L2 to aim, and it will stay aimed while you let go to do whatever it is that you have to do, walking, shooting. And then when you're done with it, you press the button again and it undoes it. Uh, so all that can be can be done in here as well as the expansion ports. So there's four expansion ports. You can get a buddy button like this. You literally could just plug it into a port. Once you plug it in, it knows that you have uh, something plugged into it and you can edit it just as the same as above. And that's it. It's that simple. Make your profiles, change things, change the buttons. 
around. We're gonna come back to, to our game. And, oops. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna come back to our game. I'm just gonna show you really quick what we have here. This is our square button. Our square button is also here on the side just to demonstrate that it works. Um, I walk with my the palm of my hand in this game. This particular game, jumping is very important, so I wanted it here on my thumb. Uh, square punches these little guys. And R2, which is the center button, can help grab things. So I can jump here while grabbing. Go around that fun little thing here. Uh, I got my jumps. Uh, and just to demonstrate this buddy button, this is also square because that's what I have it hooked up to. Uh, possibilities are endless, and at the same time, you can use uh, the the controller. So I could I could walk with my character with my left thumb and punch with my buddy button. So this really leaves a lot of options for people, as well as hooking up an additional uh, access controller. You can have two running simultaneously. You just gotta get really creative and uh, you know, feel free to reach out to the Helen Hayes Recreation Department. If you have questions, maybe we can you know, help get you set up and back into gaming. So thank you very much for your time.